This is where we're going to be metal detecting today. It's actually an old school site. I just got permission for metal detecting this site. I do have it on the map. That's how I knew it was here. Might be a little bit of a task figuring out where it actually stood. Let's take a look at that. Here is the maps. Now in 1873, it says SH for schoolhouse. In 1908, it says school number eight. Now, the only thing I know about this is that it's at an intersection of two roads and that school number eight is known as the Fairview or Gardner School. Here is the intersection of the two roads. That is a hill over there. This area right here is a drainage area and it's low. So I don't know if that would be it make a good place for a school. And then back behind my shovel there is another hill. We're probably going to start right there and check out that hill because it looks like a more probable spot. Oh, we're already in field two. Let's just go ahead and hunt it in field two. Let's go into settings. We'll go ahead and noise cancel. Now it's been raining and snowing and it is windy today. We're just going to have to deal with it. It was 66 and sunny yesterday. Here we're going to go ahead and ground balance. Came in at a 23. We're going to hunt in five tones from positive seven to positive 38. We're going to accept. Recovery speed is on four. Iron bias, like always, is on zero. There might be all kinds of people that metal detected here because it shows up on an atlas and people know about it and that kind of thing. But you can't see it. So hopefully they're not studying maps and we'll be able to find some stuff today where other detectors hadn't been out here yet. We're about to find out. So all of a sudden we're not at the school site and my metal detector is just muddy. Reason for that is because I've been metal detecting for two hours and I have not found a single thing. Nothing. But I decided to give up up there because there's a grid pattern walking this way and a grid pattern walking this way where somebody obviously has been metal detected. I'm just going to bail on that site. I was just going to go home and not make a video, but I decided to walk through the field and just look along the road frontage for any kind of signs of a house. And look, I not only have crockery, but I have dishware and I have brick. And even better is that it's on this rise right here, which would be a perfect spot for a house. Now trust me, I have studied the maps right here. And I've looked for houses over here, over there, and I'm actually metal detecting down the road. But there is no sign of a house ever being right here. That's good. So nobody else can find it. <laughs> but we did. So let's metal detect it and see what we can find. So I saw a glint in the sun, and I just found this. This is what it looks like. It's glass. It's blue. Let me clean it. But there it is. It's a blue button. You can see the shank on the back, and it's made out of glass. Isn't that cool? So that makes me happy. Definitely, definitely a good sign. Just a nice consistent 16. Pinpoint's nice and small. Let's try that one out. Definitely still showing 16. And here it is. And after two hours of metal detecting with absolutely nothing, this is definitely a welcome sight. It's a flat button with the shank still on the back. Let's keep hunting. So out here in this giant field, I found a home site, but I don't know a lot about it yet. I believe it's at least 1870 or older, but we're gonna know some more about it by whatever this right here, this date that it holds. Right about there. I actually see it right there. That's it. Now being that this doesn't show up on an 1853 atlas and doesn't show up on an 1873, just makes me think it's old. I don't know what year this coin is. You can see the one cent there. And on this side, all I can tell you is that it's a braided hair, large scent. The date is in the 1800s, but to be specific, I'm not sure. Pretty cool sight. Sorry about my bouncing around camera, but it's getting very windy. And not six feet away beside that piece of brick, we have a scratchy one. It gets up there. Sounds pretty good. Pinpoint. It's not a big piece of trash. So let's check it out. You see it. It is reading a little odd, a little scratchy, but sounds good to me. 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> we got another chance at getting a date. Thing was elusive rolling around in there. Whew. So we got another large scent. Let me clean that off. So here it is. 1848 is what I'm seeing. It's braided hair. Good looking coin. Not a whole lot of relief on it, but this side's a little bit better. But look at that. Two of them within six feet on a permission that I was going to give up on. And two large scents so far. Let's keep digging. Here's a really responsive 14. Let's just see what that is. It's a little lower tone. It's probably right here. Not sure yet. Oh, it's a toe tap is what that is. Can't get the dirt out of the holes, but you can see it there. It's an old toe tap. There's a solid hit. Pinpoint's a little loud. It's right about there. 16, 17. Showing a little bit higher. Let's just see what it is. It's right here. I don't know. This is what it looks like. A little different. Might be a big old bale seal of some sort. Looks like it's lead, but let me clean it. I really can't tell if it's just a big drop of lead, but it is lead. But this edge is too nicely formed to be a drop. I guess it could have formed like that, but not sure what that is. It's a little mixed. There ain't no way I'm passing that one up. So let's check it out, see what we have. That rain is just about here, which I think it's gonna be snow because that's what it was earlier today. Sure sounds nice. <laughs> Just as beautiful sounding as it can be. It's right here. I'm not sure if it's a coin. Actually, I do, I can see it there. See it? That's the edge of it. The wind's getting terrible. Yeah, so we have another large scent. Let me uh, try to clean that off. Now this might be the only time we see this, but it's 1847. It's another braided hair. Man, I can't believe it. We got three of them already, and I haven't been on this site for 45 minutes. So, super awesome. So our rain's moved out, at least that one. That one there, I don't know which way it's headed, but we'll deal with it. Now, when I took a break for the rain, the landowner came out, and I talked to him, showed him what I found, told him that there was a house here, and he's like, I never knew that. He owns three or four other farms, and he gave me full permission to go on all those, which is absolutely a lifesaver, because I was gonna tell you all at the end of this video that I've ran out of places to go. Not only do we have three awesome coins that we found so far, but we have all kinds of opportunity also found. Unbelievable. Very crisp, 17, 18. Pretty loud. That's an old rusty nail. It's another rusty nail. So we pulled two square nails out of a hole that still has this button in it. I think it's a button. It's definitely, yeah, there it is. So it doesn't have the shank, it's broke off, but either way, we found it. <laughs> oh man, what do you think that is? Pinpoint's nice and small. Right about there. It's right in there. And it is a 2829. <laughs> Number four. Here is our find. It looks to be another large scent. How awesome. Let me uh, get it cleaned up and then we'll uh, take a look at it. So here is our coin. I think it's 1836. Now this is a matron and not a braided hair, so it's older. So maybe people lived out here till the 1840s, maybe into the 50s. And this is 1836. You can just see that six there. So super awesome find. Uh, another large scent for today. You might be able to see this stuff hitting me right now. It's called grapple, I think. And uh, it actually hurts with how much bad the wind is out here right now.
So that little squall moved out of grapple and the sun comes back up. Got about a 19. Looks like it's right there, somewhere in this area. Here it is. That's what it looks like coming out of the ground. Looks like an Indian or a token. And it is. It says Army and Navy on it there. It's actually one of the popular ones, but it's got all kinds of writing on the back. You can see there. I'll have to figure out what all that says, but it is definitely an American Civil War token. Very cool find. Making me think aluminum can for sure. Pinpoint's real loud in that 21 to 24 zone. But that's the way they come out. That pinpoint tells you most of the story. Let's go ahead and end the day on this one. So between the wind and the weather, I'm a little wore out. Right over top of this, we have a 19 all the way up to 26. Pinpoint's pretty small, which is a good sign. Could be a button. Could be that right there. I don't know if it's a button or a coin. But this is what it looks like coming out of the ground. Crusty old thing. It's making me think coin. Actually, Civil War token again. But uh, let me uh, clean it. Well, it actually is. And you all should know what this is by now. It's the flag of our union. If someone tries to take it down, shoot them on the spot. It says Dick's right in the middle, and it looks like somebody tried to hold it up there at the top, but didn't quite make it through. You can see the dent there. 1863, second Civil War token of the day. Very cool. So that's gonna end our hunt for today. This wind, grapple, snow and rain, in multiple patterns is just wearing me out. <sighs> it's been a mix of emotions all day. Came out to metal detect the school and found zero. Stumbled across this site because I'm always looking for signs. And if there's anything you take from any of my videos, just keep your eyes on the ground and look for stuff. Uh, these sites come up all the time. I'm gonna head home and get warmed up. I'm cold. So uh, thank you very much for watching my videos and until next time, take care.